Can you let me just call it to order now? I'm ready. I just wanted to find what's wrong. Yeah, you got it. Found it. it. <laughs> All right, so we'll call to order the City Council Public Safety Subcommittee. It is March 24th, 2016. We're all here. Um, did everybody have a chance to read the minutes from the last meeting? Yep. Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Public speak time. Thanks for coming. We'll just run through. So our new business is actually next. So it's the acceptance of Fox Run as a public way. And we got all the documents. Thank you. Um, what I did see is you would put a request to the planning board and the DPW and attorney Fitzgibbon yes to get feedback from them I have not received feedback from any of those individuals okay the only person I've heard from is attorney Fitzgibbon he did contact me he asked me to make two changes which I did um, and I sent it back to him which I know he's received because I did a return receipt okay so um, I've already made his changes okay um, what are those changes is that so I mistakenly had left towards the bottom of the deed because the last one I had done was Paul Street I had mistakenly left the uh, words Paul Street because he's I basically so good I have sent him paste, stuff and so. he's like he's so um, right on about so it so it was towards the end after the just you know the plan reference so I changed it to Fox Road in both of those places other right. than that he had no other changes to the deed so so Barbara had asked me to whether or not I should invite you to this meeting and basically I was waiting to see if I would hear from the planning board or the Department of Public Works because I don't we can't move on it right until we have until we get information from them so I mean I know you you sent a very clear <laughs> request for information and uh, yeah I can do that no problem thank you um that's fine. I just saw that you were meeting tonight, so I figured I would come oh, down okay. since I'm right there anyways. Okay, good. Um, and just so you know, that is an unsigned as built. I had because we don't have a PDF form or a smaller version. I said I did submit a signed one, but it was a large plan form. I think they said so, that in the notes so um, that we would have something. I did bring the mylar. I didn't know if you wanted it. Um, Homer and Howe had done a mylar, but that the reason that's why that's unsigned was because they do not have an unsigned one, a, a signed one in PDF format. Well, I mean, I don't know if you guys got a chance to go down and take a look at it. I did, I know, yeah. And, um, okay. yeah, it all looked pretty straightforward. There was only one thing I had a question for. And I'm just being cautious because we don't have a city engineer right now. Yes. So that's usually who we, you know, partner with and, and go through with what's going on. Um, there, there is like a barrel over a sewer and a hole in the road and I talked I went into the DPW when I dropped off um, you know the office over here when I dropped off the letter and um, they said that apparently there has been an issue with a catch base in there so we just need something in writing that tells us what needs to be fixed so that we can go about Mm -hmm. fixing those issues and so, you're waiting for that from the DPW I am I had called and talked with Joe um, Kipsinski because I said without an engineer without yeah. Jim Gracia what what do you want me to do do you have someone else that you're going to solicit to do this and he said just send it to me and he said that he was going to I, I thought he said he was going to provide something with any list of repairs that they were going to want okay um, so I guess all we can do is Wait for reiterate that. the request to the Department of Public Works and I'm sorry that's okay that's <laughs> all right I just figured I'd come down I didn't know what you did have for information yeah. or not and, uh, that was the only thing I saw on a, a visual tour I mean the curves all looked great I love that it is sidewalks the the roundabout center open space seems to be maintained I'm sure that's addressed somewhere as far as who's going to be responsible for the that homeowners association great going to take care of that yep so everything looked <coughs> totally smooth sailing except for that, one that catch basin okay so and that's that's not anything we can do okay <laughs> all right you don't know how to fix that i don't know how to fix that <laughs> i don't either i just so, know what they are <laughs> yeah but um what we can do is you know as, as soon as we get some information from them as soon as they reply. Okay. Um, we'll set up a meeting, and even if it's the only agenda item, just to get it done for you okay. as fast as possible. Sure. So we'll try and move it over. Okay. 
Yeah, and if you want to uh, forward the attorney stuff to us, that'd be fine too. Sure. So, what do you just want to see? Because um, he called me. Oh, it was just an me. error with a name, right? It was right? just, and I, I have the revised first page if you'd like it. Um, so, yeah. so that's just the revised. So all I did was insert Fox Run here and here. I had left Paul Street in the state. Okay. So. We might want to stay on the phone because given that. Yes, you saw it. Just the way I'm on record. Yep. That's what I was going to look at is all three of the requests for information that we heard back from everybody and get them all to sign off on it. Okay. Great. Just let me know. Yeah. I will. I will. We'll okay. do that. We'll we'll send an email saying we met tonight, and that you know, these are our question is about the catch basin. I'm just getting the other two places to sign off on it. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Sorry we couldn't wrap it up for you. That's all right. So, hi, Councillor Connor. Hi, Councillor Hayes. What brings you here? I just want to go to everybody's meetings because nice. I just feel like I want. That's good. That's Smart. Good. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to make a request to get a copy of the minutes from other meetings just so that we know what's going on because you're right, a lot of the work happens at the subcommittee and then it shows up at city council. You're like, oh, I don't even know what this is. You can watch them on TV too. I know. I do I, that. Yeah. I don't really know what channel it is. Just go to ecat.com. Yeah. It's ecat? Yeah. Oh, the these ones end up on TV, but they're all on. Yeah, they're website. all on website. Yeah, I'm cable. Oh, it's just this, so weird for me to like. Was this the TV. thing this where online. somebody, these two plots, have to take care of that island? No, if they have a homeowner. Uh, this is a very thing. similar looking other road. Ah. Okay. Yeah. So that is um, a proposal for somebody to do a street acceptance, which means that the city would then be responsible for the street plowing, plowing, maintaining any kind of puddles or anything like that. And it is good for our community because we get our um, money to fix roads and puddles and stuff like that to, for the mileage that we oh. have in town. So okay. the more we can accept, it bumps up our mileage. Oh, good. So okay. that brings us to one of the things that our <coughs> continuing business is the street acceptance protocol. And I don't know if anybody's had a chance to look at that yet or what we want to do next. Um, Salem had sent me this really cool and after I read it, I'm like, I wonder if you actually have to send that to me. Probably did. But it was a sign ordinance? Yes. Yeah. And the way that, that the ordinance itself is structured, um, just the formatting. Yeah, it's pretty great. Is pretty well, it's a, great. It's a model ordinance, so. Yeah. And I, I was sending it to everybody because uh, I wanted everybody to have a see of this one. So because it is such a good one. Yeah, so. Yeah, by everyone, who do you mean? Is Everybody whose email address I had on my phone at the moment. <laughs> I see how this works. Yeah, but if you want, if you give me your email now, then I can do it at this moment. Pecanafettiestandard.org. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's exactly what it is. Um, I thought it was wicked pretty and cool, oh. and I would like to take the liberty of having a, a, a whack at our street ordinance and kind of formatting it in a similar fashion. And I was also wondering if you did any more research on whether or not the street protocol should be an ordinance or should it be city council rules or? Um, I did not do any more research on that. Okay. But. Um, Where's it gonna live, basically? I think it would probably be, just off the top of my head, I think it would be in the rules. Mm -hmm. But we can, like, I think Dan would be the one to ask what that yeah. is. Yeah. But, you know, I wasn't going to discount your knowledge and experience with all the work you've done on ordinance. Yeah, I mean, because uh, within ordinance, I don't, it would, I don't, I can't think of a place where it would fit. Except, well, it might, I mean, you could potentially put it within the zoning ordinance. Um, that's my gut. But um, this, there's not a lot in the zoning ordinance specific to streets other than um, and parking. Like no parking stuff is in the regular piece of the ordinance. Mm -hmm. So um, 
<clears throat> I, I mean, it's, I guess they could, we can just debate it and figure it out. Right. Best place for it. Okay. Yeah. No, it's it's a compelling question. I really, I, I it's not, um, you know, my area of expertise at all as far as where something like that would, would live eventually. So. P C O N N I F. F. Two N's, two yes. S's. Right? Did you never listen to Ray Connor growing up? I did. Really? Uncle Ray? I don't know who that is. You, what, you, what year do you know? He's 10 years old. Oh, no, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> My parents listen to him. He's a guy. You know, musical. The Ray Connor singers. Just dated myself back then. All right, that time's D. Carrier, East Hampton? Yeah. Oh, I heard yours. So you want to redo this draft into that new format? Yeah, just kind of format it a little bit nicer, maybe move it into like one document because right now it's all in sections. I mean, did you have a chance to look at it and compare um, it to this other? Copy, I think three different sections. Oh, um, I said that because I've got it in Google Docs, so I've got like um, section one, section two, section five. So that is the whole document. This, all right. I mean, um, on the other end, on my end, rather than having it split up. Because I just added Salem to the Google Docs, so. I mean, I know it, it's it's super kind of boring, but. <laughs> but there's some interesting thing. And so, kind of the goal with this for us is to make it so, um, when we're t we take care of roads that aren't necessarily accepted because it's a public safety issue, you've got to get fire trucks down there and cleaned up and make sure it all happens. So we end up like losing a good money. amount of money. Yeah. So one of the things that um, the prior subcommittee did is, is we talked to the DPW and other things to try and make it so that um, it's not necessarily an income generating situation, but we don't lose money um, mm -hmm. because the, the our attorney. Our city attorney isn't on a retainer. We pay him by the hour, so every time we do these things, we get charged. Every time they go out with a snow truck, every time they go out with a street sweeper, yeah. every time they go out to just salt, you know, and it's it's money. So try to kind of recoup that. And there's a couple of different ways we could do that with a, uh, you know, we could charge a fee to the property owner, like, okay, so there's an invoice at the end of it because mm -hmm. we went out four or five times, or we have a bond and we subtract from that bond. So. Did you share that with me? The um, street acceptance profile? I'm trying to find it again so I can pull it up again. I thought so. Not infallible. Let me see. It would have been this year. <coughs> Area yet, or is this still under they are all developed except for lot eight. They are finishing up. They took a little cruise through today. Okay. <coughs> I don't know if I have it. I'm not seeing your name on the share. I wonder what I did. I'm going to fix that immediately. You can share me now. Yeah, it's Jamie. What's the name of the street? Fox, Fox Run. Fox Run. That's pretty. It's pretty. I think Sounds the houses so are pretty fancy. Yeah. yeah. You throw Fox in there. Yeah. Price right. There's some wraparound porches. Yeah, this one's got a nice pool in the backyard. Wow. You, got, you can pull up Google Maps. Really? You just zoom right in. Yeah. On them. <laughs> I do have <clears throat> East Hampton one, but I just haven't gotten around to it. I set, set it up, it up and yet. then I talked to Barry and I got all the Prop 3 stuff so I can send from that address as well if anybody would like to do a very boring. It's the usually just me and JP, but I have all the information to set it up so you can do it right from You can choose to do it. Yeah, the portal's. The portal's a nightmare. Yeah, you, yeah. Just get, get out of there. I can get you out of there. 
pretty quickly. And then the next thing on our agenda is the parking around the Pleasant Street Pleasant. Mills, which um, I have not made any moves on. I've gone out and looked a little bit mm -hmm. at some of the areas. Um, and I think really on Pleasant Street, what is probably going to make sense for us to do is to go out there with um, either the chief or the captain and uh, take a look, get, take, get some measurements. You know, because uh, I, I, and you know, we might want to look at or in a couple places restricting the type of vehicle that parks. You know, like for example, in front of 180, mm -hmm. um, there's like there's two curb cuts now that there's the pedestrian walkway, and if you park big trucks, in front, then it really obscures the ability to get out. Yeah. Properly, so like right in, in that little section, you might want to just have you know <coughs> car parking only. Right. You know, and which is. I swear I haven't seen a large truck parked out there for months, and then in the past two weeks. The car just carrier. Come like, oh, the car carrier. Me? That's that's yeah. different. I mean, I think. I don't know what that's doing there. Well, it's I I I actually know. I don't know the person who drives it, but I know his nephew. He plays basketball for me. He's uh, so his, it's his uncle, and he stops in when he's on the road and hangs out. And uh, he's so, he's been there quite a few few times in the last month. Is that whole area from the American, is it the American Legion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the way back to what will now be the medical marijuana place? All that's what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Actually, even beyond that, even incorporating further. eastward. Because to, okay. when you go behind Pleasant Street Mills, there's the new parking mm -hmm. lot. You're going to actually be able to drive all the way around this building. Right. So one of the reasons we started looking into this was that we wanted something to kind of... Um, well, my idea was to, it was to make sure that that building is like integrated with the neighborhood mm -hmm. across the street from Pleasant Street. There's a whole bunch yeah. of people who live there. Yeah. And there's even some parking on the other side. So um, I think if we look at the parking, that will kind of be an organic traffic calming measure because that's a pretty zippy little street. Well, one of the things and when there's I some saw crosswalks this. that need to be kind of. When I saw this, because I go there almost daily, my gym is in that building, so I go there all the time. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, when I saw this pop up, that concerns me is the lighting. If there's a car parked on that side, I've almost hit one before, because you can't see them. There's lights on this side of the street illuminating these cars. Mm -hmm. There's none over here, so if you're just driving down, you can all the, it all of a sudden happens upon you, and you have to kind of get over a little bit. So that might be something mm -hmm. to look at. Well, and, and what we talked about doing before, which is, this is where I dropped the ball, I didn't pursue it, was to just get, um, you know, this kind of a schematic of the mills yeah. and kind of mark out what the existing conditions are now, because everything does have rules with it. I know um, the exit that's going to be on the west end of where um, East Works is, mm -hmm. that road, I had actually looked up the traffic rules for that road because um, somebody living there had asked me if it was okay to park on that street during winter parking was not winter parking because a lot of people were moving over that street and I was like unfortunately it's actually no parking for anybody ever so don't even pursue that. <laughs> Is that the one that goes <laughs> you know? down and then goes under the tunnel? Uh, no, no that's in between the buildings. Okay. This is like if you were in the oh, Rift's parking I mean, lot, yeah. there's a house, yeah. and then it's kind of like, that's it's like actually a, it's like a road. It's a parking lot, but it's a road. But yeah. there's a road, and then there's the parking lot, yeah. so there's technically no parking on that road, but the people who live in that house have been parking on the street there for forever. So there's a lot of things that, you know, I think planning's going to be really helpful because, you, you know, you want to look at... Um, kind of what people are doing and what's working, mm -hmm. you know, and, and make sure that we don't. And the impetus you think will slow down traffic a little bit and also allow for kind of more of a neighborhood feel. I think so, yeah, so that it's not kind of like a, just a, that it doesn't turn into like a brick wall mm -hmm. for, you know, I mean, yeah. there's a great park across the street. Right. There's a great, you know, and so just to just kind of increase the neighborhood -ish and Probably of better it. crosswalks if those illuminated ones. That would be amazing. Yeah. Because, yeah. okay. I mean, Eastworks does have a parking lot across the street. Right. So, you know, but there aren't any crosswalks right. for that. So, Take your you know. Opinion. 
Hmm. And and people people have quit on that road. Right? Yeah, they are. They boogie right through. So. I've literally seen police cars go 90 miles an hour down that street. 90. 90. I had to call Bruce and say, this is outrageous that our police officers will drive down Pleasant Street where there's this many kids going 90 miles an hour. I mean, they were going so fast that I've, I've never seen a police car go that fast in a city. Oh, seven. you mean without lights? No, or? no, they had their lights on, but they were going so ridiculously fast. Like it, oh. I was like, that better have been a murder that was in progress that you could have yeah. prevented. Yeah. <laughs> because you were putting people's lives at stake yeah. with that type of driving. It yeah. Was, I mean, there's definitely... Um, well, and there's going to be more people coming in and out of that whole area. Right. I mean, yeah, there's, there's three entrances and exits for Eastworks. There's, you know, the road in between the buildings mm -hmm. that goes through into the tunnel. There's That's almost a horseshoe in front of 180. There's two mm -hmm. entrances there, and then there's the American Legion, and you know. yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have to, like, all those entrances are going to have to have sighting. That's why I was saying that it would be good for us to go out with a measure yeah. and, and cite that and say, I mean, it's pretty, I think it's pretty well established like what the sighting buffers are for in, in and outs. Like at East Hampton Savings Bank, I noticed when you pull out, there's a, a buffer, you know, it's painted in, like yellow, where you can't park, and then there's a parking space. Mm -hmm. So they probably have standard, you know, like 12 foot. Um, sighting, but, but those we'll have to make sure that each entrance has that type of park so people can't park right on the edge, which they're doing now in some of the places. So when you try to get out, you're like, you know, yeah. really having to nose out. Yeah. Um, and I know that across from the package store, it's, it's like a random 15 minute parking. Well, and some consistency in the signage right. <laughs> It's one of the other things we're looking for. You know, painting the spots where a car is going to help. Yeah. That will definitely help. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, I, I think that one's going to be a field trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A couple field trips. Yeah. Even looking at it now, it's not clear. It's not like there's no already just people parking all over the streets. There's so many different kinds of parking. Mm -hmm. It's not clear to me. All right, oh, we can put a car there. We can put a car there. You know, where these extra spots are going to go. Right. Yeah. And, and it's then, and there's parking. So if you're going, you know, down, you know, from Eastworks down to the other mills. There's a lot, there is parking on the right-hand side, but then like there's also like one section where it's parking on the left-hand side too. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's kind of, so we'll have to parse that out. Yeah, okay, going I mean. down with safety officials would be so important to make sure it does become a common effort because yeah. just adding more parking and still having people speed through there. Right. Now it's even more dangerous than it already is. Mm -hmm. And if we want to do anything with uh, lighting or crosswalks, like, you know, if we wanted to look at getting some of those new technological like solar powered flashing light where you press the button and there's i think that on state street in northampton is a, yep. a good example the, yeah i That's, mean state street's been fighting this battle for literally yeah. years oh, they've yeah. tried everything and um so they're good that would be resource that us. would be planning we'd have to get into because they're the ones that are going to have to write the grants because mm -hmm. you know that's not you know yeah, I mean, this encompasses a lot of things. A friend of mine owns a mill, one of the mills, and, and that's what we were talking about, where it was like, you know, what is going to happen? Because that whole neighborhood, is, it, I mean, it's just going to change. And the idea was if we started this, we would have the whole winter to kind of come forward, and now it's nice. Now, now it's like, well, this that was quick. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe we'll have some extra money because we didn't have to plan so much. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know. I know. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 a whole plan, and we're gonna have to. But that is a good point. That well, you know, once I think once we get established, like a mock, you know, we draw it in, mm -hmm. and say this is what we envision it to look like. Yeah. Bringing in the mill owners and, and making sure that they're on board. And, um, yeah, they. I've talked to a few of the mill owners. They definitely want to be involved. But I thought like an existing conditions situation might be smart mm -hmm. and oh and then Barbara had requested that we make sure that um, doing landmarks that we use things that are are permanent I guess in the past people have used landmarks that are like buildings that are no longer there or a tree or yeah. something like that so just to keep an eye out for stuff like that so but, you're gonna check out that existing conditions map well, we're going to have to get a map, and then all the existing conditions are actually in a text document that are the 
where parking is allowed and not allowed. It's in the well, it's in the ordinance. It's in the ordinance. Yeah. So every single street is listed and and what it can be. And it's like three hundred feet easterly of the intersection. Of you, you can see why that might have gone to the bottom of my to do list. Yeah, it's not but you have a lawyer now to read through all that. Exactly. Stuff, so he'll be able to figure it out. I'm sure. Sure. <laughs> So site with schedule a site visit and and existing conditions. Yeah, we can do a walk. So we could make it like a working meeting. Yeah. Go to riffs, walk down, eat a good lunch. Heat hit every brewery. Yeah, that sounds like actually a really good Well you gotta talk to them. I meet know. more people walking around in I live at East Rex, more people walking around East Rex going, Is there where's the brewery? It's oh that's like, too oh, funny. Oh, yeah. We're in the wrong building. Yeah. Yeah. Let me take you. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a bus leaving every 15 minutes. Uh, I, I was thinking, you know, one of the things I was thinking about that, obviously that big truck that parks there, that's probably not going to continue. Um, just because it doesn't make a lot of sense for that truck yet. But maybe we could, um, I mean, if, the, if it's, leg you know, he's legitimately going to visit his family or whatever, mm -hmm. maybe, we could, maybe they could work out something with the truck parking lot which is like 100 feet up the road <laughs> you know if we make it no parking for if, you know if we make that spot that he takes up yeah spots for you know eight individual cars mm -hmm. can just talk to this person who parks yeah. there over like how many my friends are the ones see? with the parking lot across the street oh, so okay. yeah maybe we i can maybe you know we could pitch to, that for yeah. him i mean there's been tractor trailer trucks there parked overnight running the whole you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of a bummer in the summer, yeah. but the way I look at it is I'm like, this person's probably been driving for 14 hours. It's and good he's off the road. Yeah, they don't need somebody being like, you're noisy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> You've earned it. Yeah. <laughs> go, go park over there. And, yeah, other than that, I think we're... Well, now I have the street acceptance protocol that I did not have before. <laughs> it's not like you were calling me asking. I was not was. doing no, I <laughs> was not you on my list. Bring a draft of the efficiency? Oh, you're right. Thank you. Aren't you good? Yeah, I had that. So I what I started to do and I showed you this briefly was I looked at um, other public safety mission statements that were out there mm -hmm. and I actually don't know what falls under our umbrella because there are other things that aren't underneath any other subcommittee but they've never come up for public safety before you know um, so police fire neighborhood parks recreation programs youth services senior services maintenance assessment community development, code enforcement, graffiti abatement. Like, the, I found a huge list of stuff that not Plus, you know, normally I, happens. One of the know? things I did for the ordinance one was mm -hmm. I, I didn't, like I listed some of the things that we get on a fairly regular basis, but then I also did like catch all, like a more catch all thing. You know, like uh, the, the public safety committee is, uh, you know, invested in uh, deliberating and um, setting policy for all things that affect the, the, the health safety of the residents of East Hampton. Some, right. like, some catch-all mm -hmm. thing like that where you don't have to necessarily say, well, we never said we weren't we were supposed to do graffiti abatement, but so, now it's on our agenda, so that means we can't do it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as charge of and jurisdiction over all ordinance, resolutions, bills, papers, and other matters of every kind pertaining to, and then there get then there's like these laundry lists that people have. Um, you know, like even looking at it, it's like I wonder why street acceptance is under public safety. You know, because it's kind of a planning ordinance. See, I mean, it could. I mean, it could even be under property. <laughs> you know. Really. Um, <clears throat> I think probably the reason is because to spread the load. Yeah. You know, and I think so. Like street acceptance is public safety. Uh, we usually do a uh, telephone pole, you know, working exactly. with, um, so that, that's like another one. Um, 
But I'm seeing like animal control, building inspector, fire, police, um, things to do with public works, uh, environmental services, health department. I think water should fall in under this. Water. One. Like that's gonna yeah, be water uh, <clears throat> something that we're gonna have to start paying more attention to as we move forward. Street lighting, trees, shade. Yeah. So I got this huge list of stuff that just had never come across public safety before, and I could only kind of go with like my frame of reference was experience. Mm -hmm. But you know, if we want to. Well, to Sam's point, we could draft something where we list you know, the general duties of the committee and then including but not limited to and list some of the more common ones we usually see. Yeah. So do you want me to take, like, so what I've done is just kind of grabbed information from a bunch of other ones and then it was like, well, wait a minute, I don't even really know. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I got this list, you know, forestry, rights huh. of way, homeland security. You know, I mean, there's all these things that, like, you know. And we don't have a whole lot of homeland security. No, no, we don't. <laughs> we do we not. We didn't do anything. Public safety didn't do anything when the microburst hit. I mean. No? <laughs> you know, so. It wasn't even called. No. Um, yeah. Keep it sound That's what I'm saying. So, um, why don't I throw all this in Maybe. a shared Google sure. Doc and we can just whack it. Yeah, yeah, out. that's fine. Because I, I don't think this is something we have to worry about working on together in... No, we can do it online. We can do it online because it's just the mission statement. Yeah. I think Dan was pretty clear about that. Because we're not deliberating, we're creating. Right. So that'd be great. So I will do that then. Yeah, to provide coordination and oversight at the intersection of public safety and health systems, as well as a forum for agencies and stakeholders to address issues and initiate improvements. I thought that was great. Yeah, that's good. And then it got into Homeland Security, and I'm like, I don't mm, know if that's no, really not so much reason what ever. We wanna do. Hopefully, that will remain constant. True. <clears throat> true. 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 Other than that, um, does anybody have any new business or anything like that? Everything else going well? Yeah. Meeting times all right? Yeah, I think so. Information's good. Do we want to set another meeting, or do you want to wait until we get some box run info? Um. I kind of don't want to set one until we get letters from planning and DPW for Amanda because I feel bad that, I, I mean, I didn't invite her to the meeting because we hadn't heard anything back from them. So I didn't want her to waste her time. So, um. What did you say? You shared that with me. Uh, oh, these are diff different things? So this is like, what There's I was, like eight of these. There's maybe six. <laughs> So yeah, if you look at the document, it has like I did it in different Six. sections, okay. so that I was had was had each document section oh, yes, was I its see. own. Okay. Because some of them fell upon each other, you know. Like Joy oh. was very adamant that we have a flow chart, a checklist, and a checklist. Yeah. Okay. But you couldn't really create the checklist until you had actually figured out the procedure policy itself to go in the same order as the other thing and what it would. The components would actually be so yeah and um so that's what i was talking about when i was like okay so what i'll do is i'll consolidate that now all into one document and kind of format it the way they gave me that one so well, maybe, i think that was cool looking maybe um one of our next steps could be to get in touch with uh bruce or bob and see if we can do a walk over to pleasant street okay if the weather holds up, maybe it's like get in like two weeks or something. Yeah. I'll send out that email. Um, luckily, when this first came out, Bob was here. Okay, good. So, so it wouldn't be like a total surprise. And, and there was nothing that he was like, oh, we're talking about Bob Alberti. He's on the I see your apartment. Sorry. I didn't. No, I hate it when people do that. They're like, we'll talk to so-and-so. I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, Bruce, you know Bruce, right? Mm -hmm. He's retiring. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. 
think maybe. Are you talking two. out of turn? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think he was pretty forthcoming with that last time I saw him. When's he retiring? I think probably this summer. Ooh. Oh, really? Wow. So that was the impression I got. He's got Harleys to ride. Did we, have we gotten an update on, on whether or not we've hired a new city engineer? Still on the I think there's, I think there's still on the website. Yeah. But they're still probably uh, interviewing. Although I did see they had the family officers. Oh, yeah, well, that's good. Camp Nonatuck? I don't think. Are you serious? There's this that's cool. This is a little bit of just legislative news. So this is the report of the Special Senate Committee on Marijuana. And Stan Rosenberg's group just put that out. I don't know if you've had a chance to read it yet, but it's oh, I'm legalizing it. Yeah, it's a really They're not huge so hot for it. Are they? No, I don't think so. Um I don't think Stan was. Stan is putting forward information. The AG is no, Mayor Marty Walsh is no. Well, they brought in some really anti-consultants no. from Colorado that were fully biased. <laughs> and yeah. we, there was no no mistaking of a um, a non-biased approach to that yeah. plan. Yeah, and then the other big thing is the um, the trans bill. Uh -huh. For trans bathrooms. Yeah, the for rights and um, equal rights, and that's I hope we can do better. Than Dude, we could. I, don't think, I, mean, I think if we <laughs> did nothing, we'd do better than them. I'll take a motion to adjourn. Okay. So move. Sorry. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, you know everybody. what they didn't mention in that? 